I need to set up is actually let me get away from that. I've already got these over here. So let me copy. These are just <coughs> default prime voxels, whatever you want to call them. Default voxels, prime voxels, all that kind of stuff, right? But I'm going to take and set up a line of these up in the air, like so. Okay? And you can do this just with your add tool, you know, click, 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 put them all down. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to come over here to this little section of my wall and I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this section and these are micro voxels and if you don't know how to make a micro voxel it's fairly simple take an add tool put up a regular voxel I can select that voxel and then hit it with the smooth tool and all it does is shrink it down and uh, the more you shrink it, the smaller it gets. Like that, right? Oh. <clears throat> but that's basically what this wall is. But this is a lot of voxels. There's all, a lot of different sizes and shapes in there, right? Now, I'm gonna take that selection that I took off the board because it's already lined up and they're all different shapes and sizes. You know, they go from a little tiny to a little bit bigger like this, you know? And they do this all the way in the right. I'm going to take this, control V to paste, and I'm going to put these in four corners of these ones that I sat down earlier. Let me get this lined up. And just the four corners of those voxels, and I'm trying to get it all lined up like so and paste. Now, as you can see, this one right here is really thin and as I come over here it gets a little thicker and that's because of the microvoxels and each one of these microvoxels makes a different thickness of a um, voxel panel, okay, or a flat panel or whatever you would like to call this. Now, I'm going to copy out this center section and you can make these as thin and as small as you want to depending on the size of micro voxel that you create I'm not gonna go too small but if you look down here I've got some really teeny tiny voxels at the bottom of this board and um, let me grab one of them just for poops and giggles and I'll show you this tiniest one that I have here I'm going to put it on this end one, and we'll use that one too, so you can see what kind of happens. Hit a V, and I'm going to try to get my eyes lined up for this here. There's one. Go down two. Hopefully, I can line this thing up right, or not. There we go. I made it really, and that's by using a really teeny tiny one right there. Made that panel. And you can see how big that sucker is. Um, but you see how thin it is, right? Watch this. I'm going to take a regular box, we'll put it here on the end, and I'm going to pull it out one extra. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put down another voxel on this end. Just put it right up against that one. Shift click pull it out one I did that on both sides <clears throat> but this is kinda what we end up with and I'm gonna take my selection tool grab this one drag it all the way across just through that center section we're not grabbing these ones on the outside okay hit control C to copy control V to paste I'm going to drag that up to the air and paste it out. And you can see all these various different sizes that we have, including that last one we did with the really teeny tiny one, right? Now, take your line tool onto the end. Get it up to like your three voxels. Click here and then click here. Click here, click here, click here, click there, click here, click there. And we're going to do that about five times on each face going around those voxels. 
here to here. That's two, three, four, five. And let's try to get the hardest one, which is always the bottom one. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we go to the last side. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if we look straight down this now, you can see they're actually the square shape of a standard voxel like this, right? But if we look at it this way, they're the thickness of that microvoxel that we use to create that, you know, shape. But always remember that it is still going to encompass the size of a standard voxel. And that, that is the same the way with a microvoxel, all that, all that kind of stuff, right? Now, then you're probably wondering, well, how can I use this? Well, this goes back to the technique um, with the line tool manipulation or the video that we put out on how to do the angles, right? And you make those really cool lattice work stuff. Well, we can use these in the same exact way as what we did with it. So hang tight. I'm going to set up something for us here. I'm, let me go ahead and show that other uh, little technique first, just so you'll know what I'm talking about. It's eight voxels solid. It doesn't matter what material you're using, just it has to be solid one material, like this. Take your line tool with a three by three on the end, like this. Click here, come to the opposite side of it, and click here. In other words, the last voxel on both ends, we're gonna click. And that way, it actually puts the line tool going through it in reverse. I'm gonna come in here now with my line tool, and I'm gonna paint every other voxel. That's the first, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you can see the striping that I have coming out of this now. You see how it's twisted those voxels into like, like this, you know, and you've got really crazy looking stretched out roaming vectors is what we have just created. And this will basically happen every single time you do it, which is really cool because it's repeatable and we can duplicate this every single time. Now you're probably going, well, how can I actually do something with that using what I have just created over there? Hmm. Okay. Well, here we go. If I come over here and grab one of these little planks, I'm going to use this thin one. And then I'll use like one of these other ones over here and I'll, I'll create a, another line. All right, let's bring this up like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. And um, you can do it with different sizes and stuff. The more you play with it, the, the more different changes you'll get. But I like eight just because it's eight's awesome. And I'm going to do that. Now, I'm going to use one of these other sizes. Let's go with, let's go with this one. And I'm going to make another one. Control V. Let's bring this up here. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight of them in a row. It doesn't matter the order, I guess, but yeah, it's all good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create what we created over there with these, okay? And to do that, we're going to take our line tool and we have to go on to the top face. Don't go on these side faces that, that have been pushed in, okay? If you look right here, and I'm gonna kick it off to the side so you can see this. You see how you got that gap? There's a gap there. Don't do it on the gap. Put it on the top face of it. Here, 
go to three voxels, click here, go to the bottom, onto the last one, and we're going to click there. And I'm going to do this on both of these uh, little sections that we have up there. So I'm going to go to that last, click, go down to the bottom face to the last, and click. And you can see there's just some funky stuff going on with it already. It's already kind of pushed out on the ends. You got this, like, I don't know what the heck that is going on there, but it, it looks cool. It's all good. It's all good, right? Now, let's go over here to the last one we're going to paint. Skip to, paint. Skip to, paint. Skip to, paint. Same thing over here. Paint. Paint, paint, paint. Now, I probably didn't do it in order, but it's okay. It's all about seeing what the shapes are, okay? Um, I try to do every single one of them. But you can see the shape that we've got over here, right? And you see how thick that is. But if you look over here, look how thin they are. They're just as thin as the microvoxels that we've created over here, right? All right, now, you're probably going, well, okay, well, how can I put this in, in working fashion? How can I make something out of this? Well, come over and actually look at it, look down on it. And what we're looking for, I'm trying to maneuver my camera so you can see this here. Look at them and try to pick out the cleanest one. And uh, for here, it's gonna be that one, which is gonna encompass this one right here. The center point is is usually the voxel that you're going to be grabbing, so um, pick that one out. I'm going to hit this one, Control c to copy. Pull this out. Let me get my camera around. Okay. Control v to paste. And we're going to bring this up into the air. Control v to paste. Okay. Now hit V to mirror. I'm going to drag this over to the ends. So we get, oop, oh, I was off by one. Control Z. I'm still off. Get back in there. All right. That's what I'm looking for, is this shape here. And you can paste it just like that. Tab, tab. V to mirror. Bring it down. Tab. V to mirror. And paste. And we can use this to create that, that funky lattice work. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have already made a video of, of how to do that. But I'm going to make it again right here right quick so you can kind of see what we have done. And just by pasting it down. And where you paste it is very important because if you get it too close, it will distort it. But you see how clean this looks but you see how thick it is right and that is usually the biggest issue that people have been having and they're like it's too thick I don't like that I'm gonna hit a control X control V tilde tab tab rotate and shift click that way I can get this thing where I want it I want to get it over there closer to you guys, let you guys see this. I see y'all standing over there. Bam. Paste that one out there for you so you can take a look. Now, we're going to do the same thing to this. Now, if you notice, that right there was laying on its side, and the ones we just did are vertical, which is perfect. We don't have to do any of that rotating stuff in, in the process. So, but over here, if you look at it, from the side, this one right here is really clean. It looks equal on both both ends, but this white one, it looks smaller on this end and wider on this end. Okay? But that one is the one we want because it's equal. So, control C to copy it. Control V to paste. And I'm going to pull this one up into the air and I'm going to treat this the same way that I did the last one. Just by rotating popping this in and then duplicating it okay control C to copy control V to paste let's pop this over and down a 
but there we go I, I've re recreated that same pattern as what we did before and this time I'm gonna grab that corner grab this corner control X and let's drag this over to the other one so you guys can see the difference between the two control V and you can work them in conjunction as well now look at it really 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 closely closely because look at how they have merged on the very ends as well you can go from a thick to a thin and they reside in the same space visually even though the voxels are in two different locations um, this is where that voxel is for that actual voxel piece that's like this okay and then over here there's nothing in between them it jumps from this one to that one so there's only one vo uh, one voxel here and a voxel here and there's air in between the two so we got that one there and we have this one here okay so we've got that now let's go to that last one we did which is over here and if you notice the same good one is in the same location because we we were using the same length of voxels and so control C to copy I'll we'll come over here control V to paste and let's go ahead and do duplicate the same kind of scenario let's go ahead and make our four section copy control paste bring it down pop it in move it over I know I'm going fast with this but Burt Star's here, and I'm pretty sure she is ready to rock and roll. But you can see, ooh, you died! Sorry, dude. Cram it, the frog. That sucks. All right, Control X, and I'm gonna pop that one right at the end, continuing on with that lattice work. So let's bring this over here. If I can get my mouse right. Poor. Poor Kramit the, the frog, he died. That's, that's really sad. So we, but look, if I look down the length of it, like this, look at that. It's thick, it goes thin, it gets really thick. And this is a voxel width. This is like a half voxel width. And this right here is like really thin. If I had gotten a smaller, you know, micro voxel, I could have gone like paper thin on it. And this is just using the line tool. And the add tool and the copy and the paste but you get the idea right it's pretty cool yeah I'm evil don't don't teleport to me <laughs> you will die okay but hopefully 